hello welcome to the second weekly vlog of the year and um welcome to the third collection of lockdown vlogs i didn't want to be here not gonna lie if you'd have told me in march that there'd be a lockdown three i think i'd have given up then here we are in lockdown three i'm not gonna dwell on it i'm not gonna go on about it or talk about it loads because i feel like you've seen it all over social media you know that it's happening i know that it's happening and yeah i think this is just a safe space a bit of escapism and i'm not gonna dwell on it obviously it's the forefront of my mind um i think i'm actually getting numb to to the news at this point like i'm just kind of like here we go again boys every time so yeah hello welcome to a weekly vlog i have got up and dressed this morning i stayed in my bed until about half past 10 just on my phone and like asleep to be honest um and i thought actually do you know what i'm not gonna lay here and feel sorry for myself i did that all of yesterday evening i'm gonna get up i'm gonna put effort in i've done my hair i've done my makeup i've put an actual outfit on with actual trousers that aren't joggers um and i filmed some tiktoks and they were actually really fun i think tiktok is my favorite social media to do just for fun like it requires the least effort anything goes i'm not doing it for any other reason than it's a laugh like you don't make money off tiktok not really or i don't anyway uh for reference actually this will be interesting some of you might care to know you probably don't just so that you know that people like me at least i'm sure a lot of people are making millions off tiktok i've had my tiktok monetized since i think around september i actually don't remember when um, and in total, <laughs> I've made 58 pounds and 69 pence, which is over the course of five months. So it's, it's 10 pounds a month. You know, it's not breaking the bank. It's uh, funding my coffee addiction, maybe. But even then, I probably spend more than 10 pounds a month on coffee. So yeah, it's really not anything. I also can't withdraw it until it gets to 100 pounds. So TikTok is just for the balance. But anyway, it is a beautiful day. It is super sunny weather and I'm feeling all right. I don't want to say I'm feeling good or positive, but I'm feeling all right. Hello. 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 We're out on a walk. Just picked up some uh, bits for tea because we have no food from Christmas. And uh, we've eaten everything, so now we're just getting us. Uh, we're good for biscuits and chocolate. Yeah, we have loads of biscuits, loads of chocolates, loads of alcohol left over, but no real Which meals. Which would suit me. Yeah, that's fine, fine for mum. But no, we picked up some stuff for a curry, um, just like from the corner shop. So that's been the highlight of my day, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> How's your lockdown day one of many 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 going good lottie's been and had a bath She's oh yeah lottie had a bath lottie got her um her little grooming session in before the full lockdown comes into place kind of at midnight what did um she was booked in anyway so. but yeah yeah we didn't like rush to get her hair because she was already booked for today but did um elisa say if she's still open yeah they're able to they stay. are able to stay open oh that's good so she will have another haircut she won't get to the state she was in like no. may <laughs> good good so this is what lottie looks like lottie come here here are our christmas decorations by the way guys we took the tree down yesterday it looks empty and sad okay lottie doesn't really want to be held right now but but this is what she looks like after her groom. Very fluffy, very white, very clean. Um, <laughs> she's just chilling. She's happy because um, in the first lockdown, she got really like long hair and really knotty. And the fact that she's had a good comb and a good clean and a good like basically just puff up today uh, means that she'll hopefully be all right for this one. So she looks twice as big as I know she looks so wide because she's just got such fluffy hair. Like she looks massive. She is actually quite a small dog though. Everybody always comments when when they come to our house and stuff like how small she is for a yeah. cockapoo. Yeah. Look at how she's sitting. <laughs> This dog thinks she's a human she's being, I honestly swear to God. They smell lovely. Yeah. They smell of coconut. Mm. They put this amazing dog perfume mm. on her and it's like coconut scented mm. dog perfume. Mm. Smile! So as a little interlude to this vlog, I'm sure some of you know what's coming, but I'm so excited to say that my collaboration with Skillshare is continuing into 2021 and I'm so excited about that. I love hearing you guys that have used it and are using it now because you've heard about it in my vlogs, but you joined me, of course, from another lockdown and I honestly don't know really where I would have been throughout these lockdowns without using Skillshare. It has honestly been such a creative outlet and if you don't know what it is, Skillshare is an online learning community that allows you to take classes in the widest variety of things i will of course put some examples on screen if you haven't seen it before but it is very broad very creative skillshare classes include a combination of video lessons and class projects so there's something kind of for everybody there's different kinds of learning on there however this time instead of just telling you that i actually want to show you a little bit of an insight into how i've been using one of the classes in the last couple of weeks specifically this week i have been really focusing on this one specific class that i'm going to show you which is the iphone photography class how to shoot concept 
actual images on your phone and edit them on your phone as well which is obviously so useful given that Instagram is a huge part of my job. The first 1,000 of you guys to click the link in the description of this video will get a free trial of a Skillshare Premium Membership, which of course is amazing. Plus going on from that, it is under $10 a month. It is so affordable for everything that you're getting because the resources are crazy. So a little insight into how I've been using one of the classes that has really helped me in the last couple of weeks and it's also allowed me to get creative from my own home which obviously right now is an added bonus. This is what this particular class looks like. I'm not going to show you too much like I don't want to spoil the class. I want you guys to be able to enjoy it yourself but I'm going to show you what I've been doing on my phone with this because you know I'm learning as I go and I'm still not particularly good at it but it is something that hopefully fingers crossed you will have seen on my instagram recently that is how i've edited it so this is my current phone screen and i have got the app photoshop fix which is what is recommended on this class so the class is taken by amelia satska and she is a photo artist i think i said her name right and yeah basically this just is like having photoshop but on your phone so if you have an adobe account you can log in but if you don't have an adobe account you can make one and this app is free so i did a little home photo shoot this week which is what's on the screen here um because obviously i can't really go out to take that many exciting photographs so i took some at home but i just want to jazz them up i want to make them look a bit arty but it's even easier if i don't have to import them all onto my laptop if i can just do it on my phone i mean this one's kind of fun we'll go with that obviously this app's pretty useful but the classes on skillshare are what's going to enable me to actually edit this Okay, so this screenshot here is my very first attempt on this specific class. I've done a lot of other just iPhone photography classes, but I've never done an iPhone editing class. So this is my very first attempt. I'm gonna have a big play around with it before I post anything to Instagram, because obviously this is like a trial and error kind of thing, but it's so useful, so specific. I did not have a clue how to do any of this on my phone. And it's so handy for if you're like, obviously not right now, but on the go and you don't have Photoshop on your laptop to hand, I think this is gonna be the way forward. If you haven't already checked out Skillshare, I really recommend it. The link as always will be down in the description. And as I already mentioned, the first 1000 of you will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership if you click on the link down below. So yeah, check it out and let me know if you do and what classes you're doing. Let's get back into the vlog. later on i don't even know what time it is it's one in the morning I said that i wasn't going to really speak about anything to do with lockdown because i know that it's not like the positive content that you guys probably want to watch but then in the same like at the same time i want to keep this this channel and these vlogs as real as possible i'm sorry that i look like this i've just been laying in, in bed for like three hours just scrolling on my phone basically and watching a lot of youtube to be fair i was watching some good vlogs but like i just can't sleep and I don't know if this is a common occurrence at the moment. I'm usually pretty good at sleeping. Like, I don't have any issues sleeping. But I think it's just whenever whenever there's a lockdown, my brain and my mind just aren't stimulated through the day. So I'm not tired. Like, I'm, I'm just not tired. And then that's when I just get into a bit of a rut. Because I'm like, well, I don't want to watch stuff on YouTube for the sake of it. I'm sick of scrolling through TikTok. But I also just can't sleep. So, yeah, let me know if that's any of you guys. I don't know. I just feel like so fed up to be honest like i know this is not the end of the world the fact that i can't sleep or the fact that i'm bored but like it really just feels never ending i don't really think i'm articulating it right like i just feel so fed up whenever i talk about covid i feel like i just i, I can't complain because i'm in such a lucky situation i know that but then i think when it's one in the morning and everything's just kind of been in your head and you're overthinking it that actually i think it's okay to be feeling like that i don't know about you but i've never done this before although actually i've been doing it for the last 10 months so i think you'd think i'd got a grip on it by now anyway i'm waffling on silver lining i have my new bedding from the white company on which is beautiful I'm gonna try and sleep now also I'm, i don't know why i'm even worrying about this but how am i gonna get these nails off anybody got any tips on how to get sns off i need to just shut up and go to sleep wrapped up and bulky with your outfit on it's very cold it's your gloves for me everything's mismatching you need matching gloves to your scarf and hat or one way around maybe yeah. maybe for your birthday cooking up one of my favorite veggie lunches i am lacking on the vegetable front i've accidentally done way too much rice but it's basically a rice nut butter 
and vegetable salad. So I'm looking a little bit worse for wear. I am about to take my makeup off, but I also just realized I really haven't vlogged anything today. That is because I spent all afternoon filming my Twilight video, which has actually already gone up. Very different kind of video content idea for me, but I actually did quite enjoy filming it and hopefully some of you guys will have found it entertaining. But I thought I would just do a little unboxing because I have got this glossy box at delivery through the post. It's actually quarter past 10. I'm about to take my makeup off and get ready for bed, hence why I look like this. Um, but I got this glossy box, the first one of the year, through the post today. This isn't sponsored, but they have sponsored previous vlogs and videos, but I just thought I'd show you what's in it because, yeah, I get a lot of questions like, oh, is it worth it? Like, what'd you get and stuff? So I thought the easiest way is to just show you. So this is January's box. So the first thing is this mud mask. I actually might do an eye mask tonight or like a face mask, but this is meant to reduce dark circles puffy eyes fine wrinkles dry skin and swelling next thing in this box is a brow gel by scent Lux. the next thing is a hand sanitizer oh amazing you can never have too much this is a bizarre kind of hand sun i've never seen one like this but you best bet i will obviously get my use out of that the next is a serum this is a fragrance free moisturizing serum by e-cooking and i actually do have something else by them it just looks like this yeah pretty easy to use cute size as well good for travel who remembers travel not me yeah this is two a two pack of reusable makeup wipes which i actually use all the time now i don't really use cotton wool ever anymore so that's good and then the last thing is an avocado infused sheet mask so this is obviously another kind of face mask so i really do think it is worth the money i think it's 10 pounds a month but with a discount code to start you off which i think i have if i do i'll double check if i have a discount code that's still active and if i do i'll put it on the screen but yeah i think you can get it for like seven pounds so if you consider everything that you're getting because it's all branded stuff as well i really think that's worth it as i said not sponsored but i have worked with glossy books before but as always they're just one of my favorite favorite brands to work with and to receive even to buy to use so i thought i would do a little little unboxing because really not a lot else has happened in my day also this jumper's from urban outfitters quite a lot of people ask me on my instagram where it's from today so i'll try and find a link to it if it's still for sale and then tomorrow i'll try and make sure there's something a bit more exciting to film which i think there will be because it is a quiz night on zoom with my youtube group chat tomorrow we're having a zodiac themed quiz where you have to go dressed as your star sign I'm a Libra, so I don't really know what that means in terms of like how I'm going to be dressed, but it'll be a fun one to vlog, so I'll pick you up in the morning. Good morning from me. Oh, okay. Well, my mum just heard me say that and corrected me because it is 20 to 2 in the afternoon, so I think the correct phrase is good afternoon. Um, I just got back from a really lovely walk. It's such good weather today. But yeah, today is another day of lockdown, and yes, I am wearing the same jumper. This is potentially my favourite item of clothing right now because it's like wearing a blanket, which is a, a win in my book. But as I said, tonight I'm doing a quiz, a Libra themed quiz, and I was really struggling for inspiration, and I was messaging my friend Rachel and I was like I'm struggling for inspiration the sign for a Libra is the scales like this is the Libra symbol I'll put it on the screen I don't have any scales that look like this I only have a digital scale like it's just like a plate you just balance things on it and it tells you the weight like that's how we do scales but my friend Rachel was like oh well, I've got some kind of old-fashioned scales do you want to borrow them so I collected her scales on my walk and now I have them and I'm gonna incorporate them somehow into the costume I'm thinking of maybe wearing them as a hat I'm not gonna lie it's really hard because obviously my friends that are doing the quiz Lizzie's doing it she's a Leo Leo symbol of a Leo is a lion and a lion is easier so I feel like I'm struggling a bit I don't really know I'm gonna more play it on like the makeup, the hair, but I wanted some scales to incorporate somehow. Right now, I'm gonna finish uploading my Twilight video, which will have gone up already for you guys. I'm actually really happy with how it turned out and I think you'll hopefully enjoy it if you've watched it because like, not to toot my own horn, but I think it's kind of funny, just purely on the basis that I didn't have a clue what was going on for quite a lot of it, which is me in a lot of videos. So yeah, check it out if you haven't. Do you want to say hello? Come and show them how fluffy you still are, even three days later. If mum's food's over here, you'll come over here, won't you? Yeah, that's what I thought. Wow, that was eager. No, look at her, look at her lips. It's a little chocolate donut, which she absolutely cannot have. Oh, look at us three there. Oh, that's so cute. Lassie, <laughs> Lassie. Oh. <laughs> no, but you do look fluffy. Yes, you do. Bye. Okay, so mum and Harry and I, here they are. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. 
Hi. Mum and Harry and I are about to play this game which Harry actually got for Christmas off Mum in the Secret Santa Swap. If you haven't seen it, it was quite amusing. Um, but we haven't played it yet. It was one that we didn't play over Christmas. So we're going to try and work out how to play it now. Here's the dogger. Aww. Take turns to put down a card, spot the action cards and race to act them out. Slowest player picks up all the discarded cards. So you just put it out and then you have to do the correct action really quickly, like snap, but without snapping. Yeah. Okay. But how do you do a reverse action really quickly? Okay, okay. So it's like a cross between snap and uno. Smiliest person starts. It's not me. Yeah. <laughs> Mum, the smiliest. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, that's not one. No, no, it's not. Oh, uh, they're not all ones. No. Uh, Don't be fooled by right, something okay. that might look like Right, them. okay. I clapped. <laughs> Do I get the card? Yeah, you muff it. Because the clap one's a clap emoji. What did you clap for? Because you said you needed both your hands and then you peeked at the card, <laughs> so I presume. Okay. Ah! Oh, that was you, that was that you. Was you. Ha ha. Oh, the dog was like, shit. Otherwise, okay. I've dished out too many cards. Pepperoni. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand the aim of this! <laughs> Why did you get scared? You started shaking. <laughs> Pepperoni. Pepperoni. Why am I blind? One more. Glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I say it? <laughs> I think you were last. What? No. You were disguised by the fact you said glasses. <laughs> I don't think that's true, but... Now I'm just put one down. Oh boy. Right. Not stripping. I have multiple layers of random clothing on underneath this jumper. Um, <laughs> Not an icon, not a vibe. Just wanted a vest top because it's minus three and yeah, I'm not boiling and I'm about to get ready for my Zodiac quiz. I'm gonna get changed into something that is Libra-esque. However, the first thing I'm gonna do is space buns and then I've got this like cosmic themed makeup look in mind. Um, and I, I have an inspiration post. However, it's not at all gonna look like this. This is just my rough inspiration. Like, let's just remember inspiration is the key word. Yeah, so like we're not holding out too much hope, but that's the vibe. Also, just reading the comments on my Twilight video, I'm so glad that you guys loved it. I did not put two and two together in my brain that Taylor Swift dated Taylor Launtner, hence why he's called Taylor and not Tyler. I totally missed that phase. Like, there was like a year or two where I just didn't follow Taylor Swift's life as closely like i kept up with her music but i didn't really follow her personal life so I, i'm very hazy on like all of her boyfriends that she previously dated just because i i love her as a musician but previous to like the last four years i didn't really follow her life that much but i did know that she dated taylor lautner so i don't know why in my mind i was like is his name tyler is his name taylor so i just thought we'd clear that up because loads of you are being like i thought you're a taylor swift fan and i am a huge fan of her music like i i love her but I can't name all of her boyfriends, I will just confess. Like, I'm not, I was just having this conversation actually with my brother, like, I'm not the biggest, biggest fan of getting really involved in like, also, I'm doing space buns, um, in getting super involved in like, celebrities' personal lives. Like, I like musicians for their music usually, but yeah, I did, I just had a complete mind blank, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry if you watched that video and you're a bit confused. Wow, I feel like I'm going to school. Some people rock bunches, like, I see people wearing bunches on my Instagram, and then I do bunches and I look like this. Fashion. <laughs> you have to question what it is I've done here. Because I would call it making a mess on my face. Because I am not a makeup artist. I'm actually really quite bad at makeup that's like this. I tried to draw the Libra scales on my face and some stars. Apart from they didn't turn out too great. But yeah, I'm not James Charles. Do you think I might stick to the bunches? Because I think I actually preferred the bunches. Like... When they were just like this yeah i'm gonna stick to that the whole idea is about balance obviously that's like the key thing of a libra is that they're balanced so everything i did had to be even that is the like main trait of the star sign is that they're always looking for an equilibrium and i do see that in my personality quite a lot but yeah i think this is definitely a, a weird vibe i now need to find an outfit but this is as far as we've got so far let me know in the comments below what is your star sign i can't believe i'm sat here even talking to you in this weird mishmash of clothing i don't know why i didn't blend it across the middle of my head to be honest maybe i should blend it across the middle okay just because i still couldn't be massively bothered this is the outfit that i've gone for it's just my joggers and then this top i still have my it's a victoria's secret sports bra actually and i wear it all the time just because it's so much comfier um but i just couldn't be bothered to change it so i thought oh it's only a zoom it's fine yeah the makeup might be a bit extra i don't think anybody else in the chat has really done makeup like this but mm, that's me extra as always and my props are scales that i was speaking about earlier 
earlier that belonged to my friend Rachel and my book with the scales on it. So this is my Libra outfit. I'm gonna join the call now. This is basically a summary <laughs> of Capricorns just burning the candle at both ends. So it's the gin and tonic because I thought simple, I always go for a classic. Okay, well, I'm not there um, with that level, but here we are. Um, I'm wearing brown. Lovely. Nice. Because, you know, I'm a bull. <laughs> um, thank you very much. Okay, so my main inspiration is in my makeup because I didn't really know what to wear. So I've got like a, it's meant to look like the stars, but it actually just looks like a fat mess on my face, but it was, it passed an hour. But I have my little Libra sign, which I think is that there. And then I have my scales because the key trait of a Libra <laughs> is being balanced, which I actually don't really think reflects in my life, but whatever. And then my drink is a rose prisoner Seco and lemonade and in my head it was going to be a paler paler version of it than this because I wanted it to look like an opal apart from I accidentally put too much wine in it so yeah oh, oh that reminds me my lights are red because my birth signs are ruby oh you guys have really impressed me makeup is off and we're done we're vibing we're vibing i've had some wine i won't lie to you but i'm gonna watch the next twilight which according to live is called new moon i quite like the first one i'm not gonna lie and because i've got nothing else to watch or do i'm gonna watch the next one because i'm kind of invested and i kind of want to see where it's heading um so i'm gonna watch new moon don't know if i'll get all the way through it because it's already half 11 but we vibe hi guys it is now friday evening and before i end this vlog which i am about to do i want to show you my new prints because i finally changed these prints i have had the same three prints in here since i was about oh probably like 16 but i ordered these off decennia i think that's how you say it um i have actually worked with them in the past but again this isn't sponsored i feel like there's quite a lot of brands that i previously worked with that i mentioned a lot and it always sounds like i'm trying to be like oh this isn't sponsored but i feel like you genuinely have to declare if you've previously worked with a brand all the guidelines are super confusing but i have previously worked with decennia but this is not sponsored i just bought them off their website because i genuinely do think they are the best place for prints like it's not even a debate i just love their prints so this one here is a I would say it's like a screen print then with like ink worked into the top of it obviously it's just like been reprinted but originally I would say that's like a screen print of Amsterdam this is a photo of Venice I absolutely love this Venice was one of my favorite European cities I went last year oh my god no it wasn't last year it was the year before <laughs> uh with my friend Eleanor pretty much straight after we finished uni and we had the best time in Italy it's just such a beautiful country and then of course Paris picture of the Eiffel Tower and specifically I picked this one because it's got this gorgeous like lilac paintwork over it as well which of course matches my room and Paris will forever hold a special place in my heart I love Paris it's a beautiful city but yeah, I just thought I would show you these. I also bought one for my office. However, um, I'm actually kind of redecorating my office. Not redecorating it, but I'm changing all of the photos and all of the layout of the photos and like just ordering a few new interiors. I've got a new mirror on the way. Um, I've got a couple of other bits and bobs on the way that I'm going to kind of show you properly in next week's vlog. So I'm not going to show you that. But these are my new prints for my bedroom. I just think they look a bit more modern. Um, just a bit of a change for the new year, to be honest, because I've been looking at the same prints for the last probably four or five years and every morning when I wake up I read that print that says Paris is always a good idea and I'm just like I'm really over reading that like I don't want to wake up and see that every day because one I physically can't go to Paris and two I've read it every morning for the last five years so we've changed it up and yeah there we go I thought I'd just end the vlog here so if you have enjoyed this one I know it's kind of been slow going and there's not a lot going on I've kind of planned my week out a little bit better next week so I've got some more stuff to film but if you have enjoyed it give it a huge thumbs up subscribe down below if you're not already and I shall be back on Tuesday bye guys <laughs>